Hi, this is Dr. Ali Magibel. Welcomes you to a new challenge, to a new quiz. Our quiz, our problem set is related to sampling and quantization. We'll have five problems and we'll try to go over them quickly. Whenever you need, you can pause the video. So let's get started. Question number one and number two are related to analog to digital conversion. The first question, to convert an analog voice signal to a digital PCM stream, which of the following process blocks is used? What's the right sequence? We have six different choices. Sampler, anti-aliasing filter and quantizer. Sampler, interpolator, line coder and quantizer. Low pass filter, sampler. I'll leave you with the rest. You can pause the video now, read them and make up your mind. Now we'll go on to the second question. Question number two. It says quantization with small number of bits per sample will cause one of out one out of these four options: intersample interference, low signal to noise, low signal to quantization noise ratio, spectrum aliasing, or all of the above. Okay, now make your two choices. You can pause the video if you need more time to think. I'm going now to show the answers. The answer to the first question is anti-aliasing filter, sampler, and then quantizer. This is the right sequence. Of course, we'll have encoder then. For the, for the second question, we will get low signal to noise ratio or low SNRQ. Now let's move to the third question. The third question requires some time. So the figure shows for your, for your spectrum of a signal G of T. The spectrum is shown here, the amplitude and the, and the maximum frequency. Determine the Nyquist rate and Nyquist sampling interval for G of T. What is the Nyquist rate and Nyquist interval? You can pause the video now. Okay, now time to look at the answer. The answer is, the Nyquist rate is twice the highest frequency, 20, and the Nyquist interval is 1 over the Nyquist of the sampling frequency, which is 1 over 20.05 seconds. The second question. Sketch the spectrum of the sampled signal if G of T is sampled using uniformly spaced impulses at 1.2 times Nyquist rate. Sketch the spectrum of the sampled signal here. You can pause the video now if you need more time. Now I'll show the answer. Answer to part number B. Answer to part B. Sketch the spectrum. If the sampling frequency is 1.2 times the Nyquist rate, then it's 1.2 times 20, which is 24 Hz. Remember that the spectrum of the sampled signal will be repeated images at multiples of the sampling frequency and scaled by Fs. So the spectrum should look like this. The same spectrum will be repeated at Fs. And the magnitude also will be scaled by Fs. So in this case, the correct spectrum should be the following. You should have all the numbers correct. 10, 14, 24, 34, and so on. So 24 is the sampling frequency. And the scaling is 2 times 24 is 48. This is usually a common mistake. Now to the more difficult part, to the challenging part, part C. Sketch the spectrum of the sampled signal if, this, if we sample at 0.8 times Nyquist rate. Now you can pause the video. Take 5 minutes to finish this. And Let's get back when you are ready. Now I'm going to show the answer to part C. The sampling frequency is 16 Hz, where sampling be non-equist rate, and the resultant spectrum should have aliasing. And 16 times 2, you get the peak of 32 amplitude. Remember that sketching the right overlap is the challenging part. So we need to show the sum of the two. So this solid line is a spectrum. If you have gotten this right with all numbers on the x and the y axis, then mission accomplished. Now we move to question number four. Question number four and five. Consider a 12-bit uniform quantizer. This is about quantization with input range of minus plus 10 volt. That's M minus mp plus mp. Calculate the step size and the maximum quantization error. There are two requests can pause the video and continue when you are ready. 
Now I'm going to show the answers. The step size is delta V. It's 2MP over L. We should know this formula. We substitute MP is the peak value, and we got the number of levels is 2 raised to power N, which is 12. So this is the final answer. Remember that the maximum error is delta V over 2, which is going to be this number divided by 2. Now, for the last part, or for the last question, it says, the samples of plus minus 1 volt peak to peak, this is MP, signal with bandwidth 3.3, are to be transmitted using a PCM system. So calculate the number of quantization levels and bit per sample required if the peak amplitude signal is to be represented within 0.1% accuracy. We need to convert this into a, a formula. So if you want, you can pause the video now and try it. Get back when you are ready. The answer. The answer is that we want the error to be less than 0.1%, so we have to state this formula, and now we just substitute the numbers, which states that delta V should be less than 0.002, and we can relate to L, and then get L to be greater than 1000. We can take log of base 2 to relate to N, and we find out that for 1000 level, N should be uh, that require at least should be 9.97 we take n to be an integer value which is 10 so the corresponding number now will be 1024 so these two numbers are the answers the last part here what is the minimum bit rate of this PCM signal we know how many bits per sample we need to know how what's the minimum number samples per second and we can use this Nyquist criteria for this so we have six twice the highest frequency which is 6.6 .6 kilo samples per second times 10 bits per sample and then we get 66 kilobits per sample thank you for being for being uh, with us and i hope to see you in coming videos i hope that this was useful please if you have any question or comment please write it down in the comment section please please share with others these quizzes and challenges thank you for being good listeners thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe to the video